To summarize my gripes with the Lich system, there's a disconnect between the rest of the game, primarily having to do with specific Lich nodes, which may or may not overlap with co-op partners. Being able to gain murderer progress, period, is nice, but having your Lich spawn provides so much more progress. And then, a lack of internal progression loop. Although I feel Liches have made significant improvements since their birth, I wonder if the overall feel is appropriate to the aim of Liches. This goes beyond memeing about what they show versus what we have in game. This goes to game design principles that seem to be ever present at the foundation of Warframe. In former videos, I've touched on the ideas of critical mass, where Warframe has reached a point where there's so much equipment that new additions tend to be hit or miss, and the lack of internal progression where players invest into weapons only to toss them aside for variants instead of investing in a weapon in order to earn a variant. To parallel to Pokemon, again, we're throwing away our level 30 Pikachus to go invest in Raichu instead of just having one evolve into the other. This range true for Kuba Liches as well for me. They seem like they're supposed to have this deep connection with us as players, but I can't begin to point out the number of times I've had a Lich or traded for one and couldn't tell if it was mine. When it spawns, it's like, hey Lich, what's your name again? Avoid Demon Wears Prada song. But in all seriousness, weight is about perception and as it stands, Liches are a scatter plot such that players are getting a larveling, farming murmurs, killing the Lich, and then moving on to a new Larveling up to the point where players can spend as much time farming a specific weapon on a Larveling as killing a Lich. Equally, there's this weird range of probability where, say, player A can instantly guess to kill their first Lich for a 60% elemental and an ephemera, but player B ends up having to reveal all three words for a 20% weapon bonus that will eventually stack to the cap, and has gone through 40 Liches without singing a single ephemera. This randomized progression design philosophy just keeps popping up. You saw it with the original acquisition of the Tenebrous Ephemera, Railjack equipment as a whole, and more so Rivens, where specifically the investment of resources put into these systems does or did not directly correlate to the power or collection of the player. Simply put, systems like this are not directly rewarding players for their investment. My attempt at salvaging the systems in place is, say players hunt down a larveling, where planets influence the starting weapon. For example, Earth has a chance to spawn a new core, Kraken, Ogre, Shield Egg, and Hind. This would at least ease the pain out of the current 1 out of 14 chance to get a desired weapon, but I'm not sure how much that would actually satiate players. To continue, killing a Lich should take less murmurs overall, but grant players with the weapon at a lower base element. A killed Lich would then be promoted in rank in the solar system, gain extra Murmur to decipher, and increase the player's weapon in percentage until max. In other words, it takes 25% less time to kill a Lich initially, but when you kill, say, a loaf of bread, you get a loaf of bread Kuva Brahma blueprint with 5% heat and a max 30 rank capacity. Bread would then be promoted so that the next kill upgrades your bread Kuva Brahma to 10% heat and adds 5 extra weapon rank capacity so that it could be leveled to 35. These extra levels and damage bonuses would be optional. Locking mastery and player forma investment behind the system to force content is poor design. A player should have the option to invest in weapons they desire without being held hostage by mastery. On the other spectrum, you convert a loaf of bread to an ally, meaning the Kuva Guards present a narrative about testing for a replacement, which leads players back to the Larveling grind, with a slight murmur boost to the next Lich that targets them. I think ideally, players want to see Liches interact with the universe more, like the Lich having direct goals for the player to counter. Ephemeras could either then be granted from max rank Liches, or from engaging in certain Liches per element. But even with all that, there's still a bit of a value question when it comes to converting a max rank Lich. I'm also a little surprised that they didn't utilize the clan room a bit more. It's, it'd be pretty interesting for liches to be clan targets, similar to pigments, where your clan is working to take down the target to unlock a weapon, and ephemera research. I can understand how that might not be ideal because a player could just opt out of investing in liches overall and just go and join the clan to get weapons and ephemeras, but I feel like there could have been a safety net in place to stop that. I think at the very least allowing people to donate converted liches to the clan for some reason or having clan specific weapon targets could allow for more of that interaction. The last thing I find a bit concerning is that DE have to handhold progression much like Prismas, Vandals, Wraith, etc. instead of presenting it in an internal modular way. Imagine if in Pokemon you had to wait for the Raichu DLC before you could just really invest in Pikachu. 
I feel like each weapon variant could have a rule set and skins be created programmatically in a way that DE could eventually get systems where players just say, find a weapon and progress through investing in the weapon, rather than waiting for the variant to be created so they can throw away the base. To clarify, say the Lich system allowed players to upgrade any eligible Grenier weapon like the Buzzlock. Not to mention, can we please increase the threshold for Parazon finishers or cause enemies to go down like thralls for about two seconds? Because it's a shame that it's nigh impossible to do Parazon finishers on normal enemies. These are just some thoughts on the Lich system as a whole. Thank you all for your time. Tell me about your personal experiences with Liches and your thoughts about the system as a whole. Is there anything that you want to see change? Anything that bothers you? Any weapons you're looking forward to, Grenier or Corpus wise? Parazon straight into the comment section and subscribe for extra murmur pro- Okay, look, I can't do it. I'm sorry.